Alright. <laughs> <laughs> we'll carry on. But I can't guarantee other people. Yeah. So when I've come here now, I feel as though my battery has been charged. <laughs> I'm now ready for the next visit. <laughs> so yeah, we understand that. And did you meet Kansa this time? But I love Pakistan. It's and my the heritage. most amazing thing is that you were born in UK yes. and you follow Kansa like you're born Pakistani. Well, in, in 18 hours of the day, I am doing PTI work. So they know what mum is up to. They've accepted it. It's part of our home life now. We. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, viewers, we are here in Zaman Park and uh, she is Ma'am Safina. She came here all the way from UK just to support PTI Warriors and she is a very diehard fan of Kansaf and uh, I think everybody uh, who is like a keyboard warrior knows her very well. She is a true tigress of Kansaf. So, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm very happy at the moment, very happy indeed because there's so many people guarding um, the true leader of Pakistan. Yeah, and you are here alone or with your family? I'm alone, I came alone and I often come two or three, four times a year. I mean Covid stopped that but now I'm back to about four times a year. Whenever there's a campaign going on then I come. Oh, that's very nice of you. We are really like blessed to have such kind of supporters in PTI. All right, so uh, what does your family say whenever you uh, plan to visit Pakistan? Because I know there is no family here, there is no house, you always stay in hotel. So what does your family say whenever you come to Pakistan? Well, my family is now quite used to it because they are, firstly, I've been with the party now um, in the UK for 12 years. So I joined um, and since then they've seen that I've been active on the social media and now you know everybody, all youngsters have their phones and they're clicking away, yes? And so if they're not on in, um, Twitter and if they're not on Facebook, then they're on Instagram. Yeah. So I am on Instagram too, okay. so it's mostly my children and they all see what I post. So they know that in you know, 18 hours of the day, I am doing PTI work. So they know what mum is up to. They've accepted it. It's part of our home life now. We um, have had, we participate, uh, my husband and I, in protests in London often. So they know that on this Saturday, mum and dad are going to go to the protest. Um, if uh, we organize, uh, in the old days, we used to organize events as part of a team. They knew that mum and dad are having a fundraising event and we used to say to them, you come and help. So they know all of that, but they live their life because they're all adults now. Um, so to them it's a not surprise, they know at some point soon mum is going to go to Pakistan, she always does. And my husband always knows she will probably need to go soon. When he heard about Hansa, you know, when he was, um, we had the incident, mm -hmm. he, he was absolutely shocked and he said to me, I'm surprised that you're, you're not going to go, but in fact I did come. Mm -hmm. But I kept it very quiet then okay. I came. But that was back in November. So this, he said, if this is going on, you're probably going to go, aren't you? And I said, yes, I think so. He said, good, go. That means your family support can't have oh, very supportive because, you know, you, you, as a woman, as a mother, you can't abandon your yeah. home in order to do this. You have to do both those things. Yeah, and this is why we are here. <laughs> yes, this is why we're here. And I, I see women and I think they're wonderful because I know the effort they have to do to do this. They have to run homes and they have to do this as well. And that is women across the globe. They all do that. So, and we are blessed with the PTI family because Hans Saab has always said, you know, women are at the forefront with me and that's why I'm here. That's very kind of you, that's very nice and we are really, really thankful to you for the visit. This visit is specifically for PTI warriors, for us, for everybody who is sitting here outside Zaman Park and supporting their leader. So uh, ma'am, there is one more question. Sure. People are, uh, are uh, always keen to know one thing. Yeah. How do you organize protests over there in UK? Like uh, if uh, something like, uh, if Khan Saab announces uh, something like a protest or something, a long march or 
this kind of event or something. So what do you do? How do you gather people? How do you tell them to come out? And uh, how do you find the people over there who are like who belong to Pakistan? Does everybody support uh, PTI, or uh, how does it go? Like uh, it's it a work? story. I think. Okay, this is a good question. So globally, Australia, Canada, USA. Uh, UAE, as far as China, Japan, you've got the idea, yeah? Uh, Turkey, there are PTI chapters everywhere, yes? And in there where there are pockets of Pakistanis, um, they ha now have the ability to become, and the structure and the institution allows, the, the constitution, sorry, allows um, for uh, ch ch uh, chapters to be set up. So the UK um, is just one of those chapters, yes, but it was the first one. So we have um, a, such a, uh, a setup that we have national uh, elections. So in the UK, we had our elections uh, a little while back. So there's always elections going on. And then teams compete so that they can run their areas, basically. So whichever team wins, they are responsible for organizing events in their area. And whoever, um, how, how they get to that point is by making members. So they do door-to-door -door campaigning, yes, just like here. They do door-to-door -door campaigning or they say to friends, convince them, become members, yes? So any Pakistani you can approach, I can say with my hand on my heart, I have yet to come across more than 20 Noon League people that I've ever seen. I've ever seen. They may be, but they are not active like us. Yeah, we are very active indeed. So we organize protests when um, something is going on in Pakistan and somebody advises us. I'm not exactly sure who does that because I haven't been in uh, as a lead in one of the areas before. Yeah, I was, I, I was vice yeah. president once, I was a women's wing once, but not anymore on social media All now. Right. Right. So um, that's how we organize protests. They say, okay, everybody send out emails, contact everybody, that area, this region. We have 13 regions in the UK. We're going to have a national one. Everybody gather in this city, mm. come by this time. We have got permission from the police to do the protest for two hours. Okay. We all need to be there and then we do it in an organized right. manner. And their police never stops you, right? Never, because they know we've already asked them. Yeah. And that happens everywhere. In Europe, it's huge. Everywhere we're huge. I can find, over my 12 years, I've traveled a lot as well. In every country I go, I find PTI followers and I've sat with them and I've talked to them. That's amazing. That's a big thing. So I'm thinking, okay, that's fine then. We're just going to keep building up and building up. So yeah, we, we do have a strong presence abroad. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so how long are you going to stay here in Pakistan? I usually come for about maximum three weeks, depends on what's happening. So um, I'm here for two weeks this time and um, inshallah I'll be here for the general elections as well because... Um, oh, you will come again? Oh gosh, yes, I come for every campaign. I've done door to door in um, 2018 in Lahore. Uh, really? Oh, How long did you stay Lahore, here? In Lahore, in the Garmi, you know, in like August. Oh, that's amazing. How long did you stay here? I think I did a week in Karachi and I did a week in Lahore. Ooh. So I went to Karachi first and... Um, How was the experience? It was magnificent, absolutely magnificent, because when you see people deployed and going out and using their passion um, actively, it's like, wow, they, they, the man of people who have faith in this cause absolutely surprises me every time. Absolutely surprises me because I keep thinking, well, maybe, you know, someday it will die down or whatever, but it doesn't. It carries on. I know I will carry on, but I can't guarantee other people. Yeah. So when I've come here now, I feel as though my battery has been charged. <laughs> I'm now ready for the next visit. <laughs> so yeah, we understand that. And did you meet Khan Saab this time? No, I didn't meet Khan Saab this time. But last year I came in March and May. And um, in May I took part in the Long March. Oh, okay. And in Islamabad, 
And yes, I really I, I, I was gassed as well. Oh, and, uh, you were here. I was here, oh. and I was with some other workers, mm -hmm. and uh, I went to look, and I was absolutely horrified mm -hmm. because everywhere there were senior citizens and children yeah, and families, and suddenly yeah. there was gas, and I couldn't see anything, and I fell to the yeah, ground. They were gassed, and they were uh, yeah, yeah. No warning whatsoever. Yeah, unnecessary. Um, and so that's um, then I came in November. Now I'm here. Um, so as soon as um, door to door came back, I thought door to door would be now, but obviously this has happened. Mm -hmm. So I thought it doesn't matter. I'll still go. I'll go to um, Zaman Park instead. This is a big thing. You are here for us, for Kansa, for all the supporters. Like it's a, it's a blessing to have such kind of supporters with us. Well, you know what? Maybe I, I shouldn't really say it's for anybody else. It's for me and my future generations. So if I don't do it for me, who else will I do it for? I, okay, you know, I'll support you guys, but I'm a Pakistani. I'm a British Pakistani. I love England, but I love Pakistan. It's and my the heritage. the most amazing thing is that you were born in UK yes. and you follow Khan Saab, like you're born Pakistani. Like it's a big thing for us. And I think uh, every supporter, everyone should watch this video. They should admire such kind of people who are here just to support Khan Saab. And uh, this is a message for all the international uh, supporters actually, who uh, like no matter in which country you are living, no matter what you do, but if you are supporting Khan Saab, you must visit us because we need your support. We need to show this important government that our international overseas Pakistanis are also with us. We are. Thank you very much, ma'am, for being here Thank with you. us. Thank you for being so welcoming. You see, uh, I, I am always surrounded here by very clever people and I learn so much. Yeah. And that's where we should be, learning from each other and I yeah. learn I learned everything about Pakistan from Han Sub. Why? Because he's been abroad. Yeah. He has that perspective. Yeah. So I, I listen to everything he says and if I think he's wrong, I say he's wrong. But usually it's about 2% of the time I yeah. disagree. But he's a human being. But no, I, you know, 98% of the time he's always right. <laughs> you know, with the, with the way he... Everything comes from a place of justice and peace. What more do we want? What yeah. more does what Pakistan want? That's it. And I also know a few of your uh, team members and I really admire their hard work as well. And I think you are the lead. Well, no, I don't think I am the lead for all of them, but we all know each other. Mm. Though we see each other every day on the mm. social media and we never see each other face to face. And so this is another reason yeah, to come. Yeah, it happens here in Pakistan yeah. as well. We uh, Actually, we know each other on keyboards on only. On keyboard yeah. only. And it's so refreshing <laughs> to see people in real life that you think, yes, I feel better now. Because you work with them yeah. day in and day out. So yeah. thank you very much. Thank you very much, ma'am. Keep on visiting us. We thank need you. such kind of supporters. Thank you, Thank you very much.